maybe a year ago, I remember I was in San Diego. We were in Mission Beach, and sand kind of comes in and out of the house. I remember at one point walking through and feeling the sand on my feet and being like, oops. <laughs> so I grabbed the broom, and I was literally just sweeping the kitchen. One of my friends walked by, because he's very funny, he's in real estate. He was listening to a lot of those programs on like how to maximize your business and grow your business and how to properly apply your time and optimize everything you're doing, which I love that stuff. And he kind of poked his head, he's like, what are you doing? And it was probably like, I don't know, 11 a.m., 12 noon, somewhere in there. I'm like sweeping the floor. He's like, oh, bro, let me tell you, I just listened to something by some guy who's making millions of dollars. And he said, you should never be doing things that you can pay someone less to do if your time is worth more. I was like, what do you mean? He's like, well, how much could you pay someone to sweep the floor for you? I don't know, 20 bucks an hour? I don't know, 16, I don't know, 20, 30, I don't know. And he's like, exactly, how much could you charge if you ended the thing that you're the best in the world at? Probably more. <laughs> and he was like, exactly, you should be doing that and you should be paying them to do this. And I said, what's the point? And he said, because then you can scale your business and grow it. And? And then you can hire more people and provide more jobs to the community. And you can make more money and add more value to the people's lives you're trying to change. And eventually you can grow it and scale it and become a business owner instead of a business operator. And then at that point, you have this four hour work week where you check in a couple days a week and make sure everything's running perfectly. And then you can finally sit back and enjoy your life. So, that's a crazy question. If I can enjoy sweeping the floor right now, what makes you think I'm going to enjoy any of that? So it sounds cool. So on the other hand though, if I could learn how to fall in love with sweeping the floor right now, I bet I can enjoy every step of that journey, no matter where it takes me. And there was this weird feeling of going back to, I am enough. It's like, can I be enough just being? In the simplest moments, doing the simplest things, but they start to become profound because I can be enough in those moments without having to do anything beyond being in that moment and just do the things that are in front of me. Now that's not fair to say because there's some parts of the world where you could be really happy doing simple stuff like that, but, but more help is needed right now. There's things that absolutely need to change. But at the same time, if you're so in a hurry to try to change all those things that you never take time to enjoy the process or feel like you're enough on the journey, I hate to tell you, when you get to the results at the end, you're only going to be disappointed thinking that you'll finally feel like enough on the other side.